Hello guys, welcome to Anything About Arts. What I'm trying to make today is Islandrina's husband, Vladimir, using polymer clay. So this one, what I'm molding right now is a flesh polymer clay that I will start at the bottom part of the figure. If you are wondering what I did last, I think two days ago, uh, that was a miniature room of rod from ice cream games so the check the link on the comment section below or i mean on the description below there's a link there and then watch it enjoy watching so here's the final output of my clay later i will be placing an aluminum wire on top so that my figure will stand firmly Okay, let's head on to the next part, the shoes. So this is how I form the shoes. That's the pattern. And then I cut it and then place it on top of the base. The body part of the shoes has the same size and form with the sole. Just place it on top of the sole and then let's it just form it with your fingers. Okay, here's the final output of the shoes. It's very easy, guys. Next part is the pants. I'm quite worried with my black lace because I don't have enough stack of this. But what I'm plan to, planning to do now is to just paint my other clays with black so that I could imitate the exact outfit of Vladimir. After you form the clay, get a heavy knife or just a regular cutter and cut this into half because later we'll be inserting the aluminum wire inside this clay. The purpose of using aluminum wire is to make your clay or your figure to stand firmly. Now try to form two rectangular shaped clays and place it on front and at the back of the upper part of the pants. If you are trying to make a lot of figures, try to invest with scoping tools. It will be a lot easier for you to manage your work and at the same time it helps a lot. What I only have right now is this sculpting tool because my order online has not yet arrived.
Okay, the next is the body. As I said a while ago, I don't have enough black clay, so uh, what I'm using right now is flesh. So later, I'll be painting this with black acrylic paint. Once you have formed the body, you can now place that on top of the pants. I use aluminum wire to make it sturdy. What I'm doing right now is to cut this thin sheet of clay because I'll be covering the body with this. What I'm working right now is the details of this tuxedo. The process of making the arms is just the same with the pants. Just slice the clay into half and then insert the aluminum wire inside. I still have black thin sheets of clay left on my rack so I decided to use it to cover the arms. Now it's time to use your sculpting tool to smoothen the surface and at the same time to connect the shoulders, I mean to connect the arms with the shoulders. Now let's make the hand. The hand has two parts, the base and the fingers. So try to make the base first and then move on to the fingers. Just try to form five rectangular shaped clay for the fingers and attach it with the base. Vladimir's nails are long and very sharp. I'm quite scared while I'm doing this head figure of Vladimir because I'm really trying my best to make it look exactly like Vladimir's face. After placing the head on his body, now it's time to bake this for around 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes later. Okay, let me give you some tips. I, I heard that whenever you bake, let it cool down for around 15 minutes more because clay will be more durable. It's painting time. I use the following acrylic paints. Gray, red, 
white, and black. So here's the final output of my work. I decided to make a box for Vladimir. I just use foam board. I don't have an acetate, so therefore I just use clear plastic envelope. And then I painted it with black, red, and white. For me, I used box because I, it is safer to display on the table, on the street, wherever you want it to display. So here's my Vladimir figure. Hope you like it and comment down below if you want a tutorial on how I make the box of this figure. Please don't forget to subscribe and li like my video and do share this to whichever platform you prefer. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next vlog.